Oh, it's time now to get a quick check of the forecast. Been a little gray and kind of drizzly. Today. Yeah, this is where we look at the four hour forecast. And Peyton, I specifically have a question for you. I plan to walk from our three new studios here uh -huh. downtown to Rocket Mortgage after the shows around six ish to see Dave Chappelle. Okay. I love Chappelle. Am I going to get wet on this wall? Oh my gosh, it's not a personal forecast. For I know. You. Yeah, well, I mean, everybody else can benefit from the forecast too. <laughs> it's what we do here, Betsy. A sprinkle <laughs> possible, Jay. I think that's a rule of thumb as folks, you know, set the tone for any of their Friday night plans. I know we've got football too that's happening across the area tonight. We had a cold front sweep on through, and that is ushering in a few spotty showers, and that trend is just going to continue not only today, but also through the next couple of days too. I think there's actually more of a chance on Sunday than what we see tomorrow. This is really light in nature. A few sprinkles through Erie, Huron, and Lorain County. Other than that, you're just seeing some reflectivity from the radar site through parts of Cuyahoga, Medina, and then Summit County. Our temperatures have been cooler than yesterday by about 5 to 10 degrees. That puts the majority of Northeast Ohio close to 70 degrees, but it is still muggy outside. That uh, humidity level is still pretty heightened. It's going to stay there this weekend, too, so another evening to keep maybe the windows closed unless you want things damp inside. There is a breeze, though, sustained anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour doesn't look to impact the kicking and passing game of any of those Friday night football games. But your next four at four temperatures just hover close to 70 for at least the next couple of hours. Can't rule out maybe a trying of, of peak of sunshine, but Jay, remember, uh, just keep an umbrella handy as we go through the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I hope the rain does not impact the Browns game, too. I hope that they are preparing for every avenue because I'm looking at that timeline and an isolated shower is definitely a possibility. We'll time it and track it coming up. And my full forecast, but other than that, Jay, just get to moving real fast. <laughs> All right, very good. Hey, look, if it rains, we've got Nick Chubb. Don't coddle him. <laughs> Don't coddle him. He's fine. You can deal with it. Okay, princess. you big baby. Just, just walk. Tell just you what. I didn't know if I needed an umbrella. Thank you, Peyton. <laughs>